Hi. <laughs> I, don't, I never know how to introduce myself, so hi. Today you are going to see a different side of me, but trust me, you're not gonna see a lot of it because I'm still very insecure about it. As most of you could probably assume, I have a little bit of a skincare issue, but that issue is not what you think it is. It's not the fact that I keep buying skincare, which that's its own issue. But the main issue is I have no storage for it, which is something that I haven't had an issue with before, but I'm being sent products. I have products that I've bought. I have products that I don't always fit into my skincare routine. Full transparency, I don't use every product. Obviously, if a product doesn't work for me, I don't continue using it. And also, if I've seen everything that I want to see with the product and I just don't see myself using it, I'll give it to my friends or someone who I feel like will get a full use out of a product. I love seeing people's beauty hauls. I love seeing people's beauty storage, but when it comes to owning it, I hate it. <laughs> it's so bad. I am being so dramatic about this, but I've decided to stop feeling insecure about when people come over and have to use my bathroom or when people see my skincare and they're like, Oh God, like I'm single for a reason, guys. I have so much skincare and that is scary. It's, it's very scary. I'm fixing that today. I had a little bit of a spiral and I went on amazon.com, ordered myself a little cabinet that I'm going to install myself because we are now handyman. Wait, no, that didn't make sense. I am now handyman. I am now handymanning. I have my tools, I have my little uh, belt. I'm ready. I do feel like it's time that I show you all what we're working with, but I'm gonna show you from a far distance. I haven't cleaned my bathroom in a while. That is disgusting. Don't do what I do. I'm doing this so that I don't have these issues anymore. Basically my problem is my skincare is on my sink right now. I feel like I am drowning in skincare. There are probably some products that I will have reviews on coming up in the future because I'm currently using some of it. A lot of the skincare I'm currently trying, I keep on my sink and then it just kind of stays there. And then I have a shelf, like DIY shelf that I bought off of Amazon like years ago above my toilet. It's very makeshift. I bought a pretty good cabinet that I'm going to mount myself today. Yeah, let's just go in here. I'm. I'm nervous to show you all this. I would rather show you all a lot that is not this skincare because I'm scared. Hey guys. Okay. Oh, you, you can already see it. Okay. This is what we're dealing with. This is, it, it's not like as bad, at least on the viewfinder. It's a lot. Uh, we're not gonna get too close because it is pretty dirty. I'm excited to tackle this. So the order of business first is I'm going to clean off every skincare product, put it into a box, clean off everything, and then wipe off everything, and then get this piece of junk out of here. We need it gone. It literally makes me want to throw up. I'm gonna install the cabinet hopefully up here. I, I don't know, there's not much engineering here. I, I'm a communications major, I don't do STEM. I do feel like that I will be able to pull this off, so we're manifesting good vibes. Worst comes to worst, if I can't fit everything, I'm gonna put a cabinet behind me above my shower rack. I'm mainly just testing out this cabinet. Took a little bit of a break, got some dinner, and I dished the mic because most of this is just gonna be me opening the package, so let's do it. Okay, this is gonna take a while. I don't want y'all to witness this mental breakdown, so I'm gonna build some, I may feel, I don't. Okay guys, listen. I think I started filming this about like three or four hours ago and here I am still here. We got it built, we got it installed, it took an army. I did not want to film my mental breakdown because I don't feel like that is helpful for the YouTube community or anybody 
for that instance. Just figured I should let you all know that I am a fake content creator. Yeah, I didn't film any of the building process because I was kind of spiraling and just trying to get it done. This was not supposed to be a stressful or a difficult task and it ended up being both, but we got it installed and it's crooked so it doesn't look right. We're going on an adventure, guys. We got it installed. Will you please focus? So the issue lies in the door. So let me, allow me to demonstrate. So, oh, so nice, right? Oh, and it just stays up. It doesn't. Um, that's okay, we'll just store the bad skincare over to the right so I don't have to look at it. What I've decided to do, all of the reviews that I haven't filmed my final thoughts to are gonna be on top so I can kind of keep it organized in my head. And then this is gonna be where my main skincare routine is, this middle shelf here. And the bottom shelf are gonna be like situational products or like products I use whenever I run out of another product, like say for instance, there's a manual cleansing balm. I am using an oil cleanser right now, but once I finish that, I'm going to finish this product and just kind of build and go off of those. I, I don't care what this looks like. I'm just happy it's done. Ooh, we're already running out of room. Okay, this top shelf is gonna be products I haven't finished the reviews on yet and fragrance. Or I can put the fragrance on the main. Okay, let's, We'll figure it out as we go. Okay. This door is going to kill me. Oh my god. I also need a place for hair care, razors. I still hate the lighting in this bathroom. This is god awful. Anyway, so truth is, I've been completely unmotivated with this video. It's been a little while since I filmed it. I'm mad at myself because I didn't film any of the process, but when I tell you all, this was the most like frustrating thing that I think we could have ever put together. And it's just because of my talent. It's just because I'm not qualified. I am not the one to be doing all of this. Last time I was here, we were presented with the issue. Also, quick problem, um, I'll get to that. Just don't mind this stuff up here, but, you guys remember the issue with the door. So that is still present, but I kind of pushed it so it's not as bad. If I open it lightly, it stays. I've at least gotten immune to it. It's been about, I think, it's, it's been a while since I filmed that video. How I'm trying to organize my products. I'm trying to prioritize it to like, main skincare routine that I'm using currently, products that I'm trying so I can keep it more organized, and then, excess products that I will use once I run out of these products. I try to go buy off of like expiration date and stuff. Mounting this to the wall was one of the most difficult experiences. We still messed it up. We used a like laser thing and still somehow did not get it straight. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, nothing is perfect in this world. I was able to kind of push it to get it to that point. Only problem is if I'm currently trying out a cleanser toner, something with a tall packaging, and don't even get me started. Love you prequel, but this is the hardest thing to store in here. Barely fits on that shelf, but since this shelf is so high, because I have to have my cleansers and my toners and all of that here, the excess cleansers, moisturizers, body products, all of that is all on the top. Also, hair products that don't fit. It's just a lot of moving parts that we're still working out. I think I started getting scent products and I started getting more products than I even knew what to do with. And so it was kind of growing too fast, but this has helped me a lot. My bathroom counter is clean right now. There's no skincare on it, but I even put like a little, like a little candle in here. I just made it like my sanctuary because this kind of is. This is the current organization system. I'm so sorry that I did not show any of the building. I'm trying to recap the process. I think it was just like, there were a bunch of screws and we messed up the screws and then there were a bunch of moving parts that just were not moving correctly. And then we tried to mount it. It ended up being, it was like 9 p.m. when we got done. It was a two hour process. I wish that 
I could build another one right there, like on that end of everything. But with how much this sticks out, and I usually get out of the shower right here, I don't think that is, I don't think that would be good. I would hit my head too much. I just kind of wanted to bring you all on this journey with me because I always feel like I feel better if I have a camera with me because it kind of feels like company and yeah. Let me know if you want to see more like this. I don't know how many more engineering projects we're going to take on. Hopefully not many uh, because this was too much for me. I can't do this. Mad respect to everyone who was in STEM. That is not me. And this is just a captain. I can only imagine bigger things. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't anticlimactic, but this was definitely a video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.